So I did this video yesterday on this little battery powered ceremony system I put together. You can go back on my YouTube channel and watch that if you'd like. Ultimately, I'll put a link in the description of this video so you can see it if you want to. Uh, this is the microphone that I have at the altar for the officiant or the priest or pastor or whoever to use to marry the couple who's good married. And a lot of people ask me, well, why would you use a microphone on a stick like this, just a handheld? opposed to something like a lapel microphone. Now, there are a lot of DJs out there who do wedding ceremonies that use lapel microphones. Jim Cerrone out of Indiana was telling me that he has multiple lapels. Everybody who's speaking gets a lapel microphone. And he's got multiple techs, lady techs in the ladies' dressing room and male techs in the male dressing room wiring everybody up very cleverly. And he's charging several thousand dollars for this service. Most of us DJs aren't getting several thousand dollars for something like a wedding ceremony. I can get about 500 bucks. That's pretty good in my market, but I've got to keep my costs down for this to be profitable for me. But the reason I'm using this setup isn't just because it's cost effective. There's some method to my madness. With a lapel microphone, it has a very wide pickup pattern. So if your clergy or officiant or whoever has a lapel microphone on, chances are it's going to pick up the bride and groom pretty well too because of that wide pickup pattern. But most of my wedding ceremonies are outdoors. Therefore, there's wind and lapel microphones are typically not very forgiving in wind where something like a cardioid handheld microphone is incredibly forgiving with wind. This one, this is a JTS N164 microphone, does a great job in wind. There are other microphones that do a good job in wind, but this one does very well. I'm very happy with it. And what a lot of people are saying is, okay, well, can they hear the bride and groom? Well, maybe, maybe not. The officiant is doing most of the talking, and this is what happens with the bride and groom. Just to give you an idea. So let's say they're standing next to the microphone like this. Either they're speaking in a relatively decent speaking voice, looking at each other, and the microphone's going to pick them up, or they're whispering like this. And no matter what kind of microphone you use, no one's going to hear them anyway. So, yeah, I like this option. Another thing with the lapel mic, even if you can get it under a lapel and cleverly uh, conceal it so the wind doesn't get to it, this kind of stuff happens a lot whenever they bump their shirt or whatever. And that's distracting. It's as distracting to me as wind noise. So here are a couple more arguments for you. Now, a wedding like Jim Cerrone does, like we were talking about, where he's got multiple microphone techs or in the dressing room, this is like royal wedding stuff. Most of the weddings that I do are quick and dirty. They're in the middle of a cornfield or something. People are unorganized, and, you know, I don't always have time to go back there and do this mic tech stuff or explain how the microphones work to people. This has got to happen fast, and a mic on a stick is definitely fast. It's easy. The other thing is, the officiant has control over the microphone much easier than they would with a lapel or a lav mic because I can show the officiant very easily that he can hit a little button on the top of that microphone to mute it. So if he needs to mute the mic and talk to somebody, it's not a problem. He doesn't have to put his hand over his lapel and make that noise. He just simply mutes the microphone himself and then turns it back on. So this has worked out really well in that regard. It is very wood forgiving, it's cost effective, it's easy, it's dependable, and I don't need multiple mic techs to make this happen. So anyway, just a quick video explanation for you. Whatever you do is the right thing. I mean, whatever your method is and however you do it, if it works for you, if you're making money doing it and your client's happy, keep doing it. But this is why I do what I do. Just wanted to do a quick video explanation on it. If you have any questions, let me know right down here in the comments section. Thanks for watching. Practice and enjoy.